The diagram below shows a new container used for oil that is going to be sold at garages. The container is made up of a cylinder and a cone, the height, okay, so everything they're saying is given to us, although the height, H, of the cylinder is 15. Well, why don't you guys just put it there then, 15. Don't confuse that H with that H. You see how they said the height of the cylinder, and they said it's a small H and a small H, okay? Um, and the slant height, S, is 10. Ah, okay. This is what happens when the teachers copy-paste the diagram from a previous exam paper. They don't know how to change it here, so they just make a new question. <laughs> because S is 10, they could have just put it there. Okay. Now, in this exam, specifically, they gave us formulas, but they're not going to give you formulas in all of them, and it is dangerous when they give you formulas, especially when we talk about surface area. There's gonna be some big catches that are gonna happen in this one, maybe, maybe. Sometimes they sometimes they give you the correct formulas um, based upon when it's combined with another shape, but sometimes they don't. With volume, you're good. You don't really have to worry. Surface area, you've got to be very careful. I see they've actually done something very interesting with these surface form, surface area formulas. I will explain as we go along. So just don't bank on the fact that they'll give you the formulas. Uh, most times they actually don't. Right, so let's go do our questions. It says, the first question, determine the radius if the volume of the cylinder is 4,000. Okay, so the volume of the cylinder is 4,000. Now, we know that the volume of a cylinder is definitely going to be one of these, and you need to know which one it is. It's this one, okay? You need to know that. You need to understand exactly how or what, how it works. So it's going to be pi r squared h. And with volume, we don't need to modify formulas. It's only with surface area where things can get a little funkier. So what you do now is you're just going to say 4,000 pi. Radius we don't know, so we can just leave it like that. And then the height of the cylinder is 15. And then just always make sure that these are the same. So centimeters and centimeters. Okay, good. So we're going to say 15. And so now we just got to try get the r squared by itself. So all I would do is I would take this and I would take this to the other side. So you're just going to divide by 15 pi, like that. And then to get r alone, I would just square root. And so you're going to get, see, I don't go type this on my calculator just yet. I ain't got no time to be writing out those decimals. Okay, I don't know what accent I was going for there. I think I was going for a bit of, like, cowboy... But then halfway through, I realized it wasn't working, so I got awkward, and it became a weird voice. So let's just leave it, okay? Never happened. So R is going to be, um, you need to commit Kev when you're going to do accents, bro. You can't be cutting between the two different accents halfway through. Um, so R is going to be this over here, and so we just go type that in on the calculator. 4,000 over 15 pi. I'll be damned. That one says 9.21. Okay, Kev, it wasn't good the first time. Let's just leave it. 9.21. Um, yo, it's bad, eh, when you can laugh at your own jokes. 9.21 centimeters. Um, okay, hence determine the radius. Okay, so we did that. 9.21. Okay, do you want to say 9.21 again, Kev? I think we've got it. 9. Point, okay, there we go. Um, 8.2, hence determine the total volume of the container. Now, when we're looking at volume, I want you to smile because volume is easy. Volume will never try to catch you out. Surface area, by the way, oh, that's a different one. That's the one that will try to catch you. Volume area, easy money. So they said they want the total volume of the container, so that will just be... Um, the total volume is equal to the volume of the cylinder plus the volume of the cone. And that's just going to be the volume of the cylinder they already gave us is 4,000. And then the cone is this one over here. Whenever you see a three at the bottom, that is either a cone or a pyramid. It's any shape that goes like that. Any shape that comes together at a point, that's where we divide by three. Okay, look at the earlier videos in this playlist, which is actually the grade nine uh, videos, um, which I've added here to these videos um, or playlists, where I explain all of that. Okay, so the volume of the cone is going to be a third. Now it says area of base. So if you look at this cone, if you look at its base, 
It's a circle. So what is the area of a circle? Pi r squared. Pi r squared. Um, so that's pi. And then the radius is what we've just worked out now is 9.21. Oh, Kev, so you're telling me that if I got the first question wrong, now I'm going to get all of my questions wrong because it uses this answer. No, nope, don't worry about that. What often happens is that they will, even if you've got the wrong answer, they will still look at your methods going into the next question to see what you did. Okay, they don't just say, oh, sorry, wrong, moving on to the next exam or next question now. No, they, they, they'll they take your wrong answer. So please, when you're in an exam and you, and you know for a fact that you got this one wrong, um, just use it in the next ones because they're looking at your method. Okay, so you will still get your, your marks. Um, okay, so pi, where are we? Area of base, oh, pi radius squared. Don't forget the square, pi radius squared. And then h, but now, oh, h, yes, there we go. Okay, now, ooh, we don't have that, or do we? The slant height, no, we don't. Okay, so we can't do the question, guys. Sorry, let's move on to the next one. Obviously, that's a joke, guys. We can figure this out. So we could just use Pythagoras over here. So we could just say that um, little side calculation. Just a little side calculation over here. We could say that h squared is equal to uh, 10 squared minus 9.21 squared. And h squared, or h is then going to be the square root of whatever that becomes. So I don't like to use my calculator. Well, like I don't, I don't want to go get all the decimals right now. You see how I'm delaying the process right to the end. And so that's going to be 3 point nine zero centimeters so three point nine zero centimeters so that's going to be uh okay so it says uh so where are we uh oh yes okay so it said that the volume of this so we need that is going to be three point nine zero and so if we now go and calculate all of this on our calculators we get four three four six point four three and that is going to be centimeters cubed. Okay, this one says, the last one, calculate the total surface area of the container. Now, here's where you need to be, like, um, more cautious, okay? In this, in this particular exam, they actually were, they were actually very nice to the learners. These are actually modified formulas, and I'll explain why. You should understand that this is actually a modified cylinder, and then this is a modified cone. Let me explain what I mean. So normally, if you have a cylinder, cylinder, it's got this formula, 2 pi r squared, because it's got a circle at the top and a circle at the bottom, and then it's got the part that goes around, and that's always going to be 2 pi r h. That is a normal cylinder. But when you are looking at surface area, of a combined shape, can you agree with me that this part of here is not going to be visible on the outside of the shape? And so we need to change this from two circles to only one circle. But they've done that for us, which is something I actually have not seen them do before. So don't bank on the fact that they're going to do that. So that's why they're doing a modified formula for you over there. Now for a cone, a normal cone by itself is pi r squared plus pi r s, which is the slant height. Let me explain. So when you have a cone, you've got a circle at the bottom, which is this part, and then you've got the weird part going around the sides, which is that part. But once again, this part will not be exposed, and so they were very kind to only give you the pi r s part. They took this part out. Some of you are like, Kevin, what's this bracket, bro? I also thought that, but it's actually just the finishing of this bracket over here. Ah, smart man. And so in this particular exam, learners who didn't understand their work very well actually would have done very well in this last question because the formulas that they gave are perfect for the scenario that we have. But very often, they will leave the two over there and they will leave the pi r squared and learners will go and use those formulas and that's where the problems come in. And then they're like, yo, but I used the formula. But you need to understand the formula and they're trying to catch you out with surface area. Okay, so we're just gonna go add all of this together. So S, uh, or the surface area, is just gonna be 
uh, pi r squared plus 2 pi r h plus uh, pi r s. Okay, now let's just make sure we're using the right for the cylinder. Yes, it is a small h. Okay, so pi, now the radius we said was 9.21 squared, and then 2 pi radius, which is 9.21. Height is 15 pi radius, 9.21, and then slant height, oh, 10. Okay, type that all in. And we get 1, 4, well, let's rather write it over here, Kev. 1, 4, 2, 3, point eight five, and that'll be centimeters squared because it's area.